actually breeze through. Well, not exactly instantaneous, but still a lot faster than the typical rates. Right. Okay, so we'll go to the next, which will be, let's see, fuel mastery, which will obviously be fuel efficiency. And we'll see how effective that is between each of these. Go that, and then I think I need to do, yep, that one there. So we'll do this on, what does it apply to? Furnace and brewing stand in particular, interesting, okay. So we do this, right click that, take you out. Is that just a blank thing? Alright then. Um, right, so do this and just get some awkward potions. See, I don't think we'll notice too much, but uh, just typically because obviously I don't have a lot in here, They're just bottles in place. But either way, we had a hopper underneath or something, and just like a ton of awkward potions we could easily filter through this. But again, I don't have much, so but, yeah, I'll try it on an actual furnace because that way we'll notice it more. I'm just get rid of that because I really don't need them. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm assuming that also means it's going to get more of these out, but it may just not process that much. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, we'll get intact as well again. Looks like it's going to take a bit. Uh, let's see, next we've got the drill instruction. I should put these in. Um, so that. So two, yes, so three. And four, and then, well, is that grade five? Yes. Okay, and then we've got the last two, which we'll just add those in. Um, and obviously we need to consider the exception ones for the next lot. Okay, so that's... Almost getting to 8 and it's still going. So that's a good sign. Obviously the further up you go, it'll blast even longer. We'll just set up the furnace to do a bit more after that and see. Actually we'll just get a bunch of furnaces and see how far these go and we'll come back. That'll be a better idea. So just do... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just want to take you out, thank you. Does that give you another one back? Interesting. Um, so we've got grade two here. We can add grade three, grade four, and grade five. So that's going to do twelve. It seems. We'll do just a bunch of these, I guess. Uh, we'll just get some copper with one. This one, gold in that one. Just make it a bit different each time. We'll go sand and just see different results. A lot easier. So we'll just go see some logs here. That'll be fine. So that did 12 and a half. That'll probably, I should maybe add to 24, 36, 48, and so on. Add a guess. Maybe that can do a whole 64, but on one piece of coal. We'll find out. Um, other than that, we'll want to do the drill instruction. We'll get some of these out of the way. So that's for dispensers only. So we do this. This is, I assume, for having a pickaxe do a bunch of things at a guess. I don't know. Do I need still redstone, I assume? It's not just going to activate on its own. Okay, and it also pushes it to the back. Interesting. So if I put a chest behind it, is that what that's going to do? Okay, so that's not going to happen. So we do need at least a hopper or something underneath. Or over here, I guess. For it to collect it. One thing in there. There we go. Yep, so it'll pick it up. Um, then we'll go, which one was that, four, I guess that's two. 
So it gives you a regular one back, apparently, after you do that, which is interesting. It's quite odd. Um, is that going to do, like, two in front of it? No, it's not. Okay. Not sure what the difference is, though. Um, alright. I don't think it's also going to benefit... I mean, it'll benefit by putting a different tool in here, but I don't think that means that it's... Like, it can't mine anything if you have, um... Don't have, like, a diamond pick or something in here. Okay, so that's apparently not. So maybe it is actually pick-based as well. So say, for example, we do iron on here, but we can't do diamond, for example. Maybe it is based on pick tiers. We may just have to work some things out. So, let's see. We want... Just get rid of the sand, because we don't really need it. Do this. Now I can mine that, we'll try a diamond, which we... Interesting, even with a stone pick that's going to do that, that's quite odd. Um... Alright then. We do this with a wood pick. And we do this with... Oh, come on, I need it here real quick. Um, that one's not being used. We want grade 1. Swap this out, because I don't mind doing that, we don't need it anymore. I'm just going to do it regardless. Okay, I'm not sure of the noticeable difference. Well, it's just not too time in there. Now just to do it, maybe it just does not do city in it at all. That's weird. Um, so there's nothing in front of it that it's considering. There's nothing based on pick tier that matters, as long as it's got a pickaxe it does it. And there's no block pick level sort of thing to distinguish between. I don't know what the upgrades are for then. It's probably something I'm just missing that's obvious, but at the moment I can't actually tell what's going on. We'll actually try obsidian then. Let's see, nothing. Alright. We'll just leave drill at that because I don't know what else you do with it. Go to the furnace here, so that's done 16 instead of 12. That's done 24, so maybe my actual guesses were a bit higher than usual. Um, so that'll do 24 and a bit. I don't know exactly 24. That's 16 and 3 quarters. That's 12 and a half. That maybe might get to 30. That might do a bit more, so we'll see. Uh, and then we've got the chip riser, which upgrades chips on a chip. Okay, so we do this. Aha, uh -huh. so that gives us two slots, so that means we can do more things. So that means if we take that out, take that out, the ones you can technically use after you apply this, um, that means we can technically do... type of thread, that was just T3 of the speed, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so we'll just got another chip intact. Let's have another one, uh, actually two more. We'll just have, for example, I actually could have just gone with hyper thread actually there. Um, let's see, you we'll go with should go that, and yeah, okay, we'll go with hyper thread because why not? Might actually be beneficial. So I didn't just pull that out of it. So, um, so we could do. Oh, does that keep generating each time? I don't want to say that's unintentional, but you know. So we've got this, and this, I assume it just has to fill in a gap, so, yeah. So we've now got our extra slots, but we've also got our speed upgrades. So we put one piece of coal in here, and we put in some gold or ore. So I'm not gonna, oops, sorry, I need to put, obviously, some potatoes in the actual block that's suited for it. So we can do two at once, and we can also get the increased speed, or whatever other type of you know, chips you want to put in here, that you can expand upon. Um, we'll go with this one, take that out, take you out, and we'll put this in, and this will give you four slots, and you can do four different things at once, with obviously, you say, multiple threads, it's faster, it's more efficient, and whatever else you want to add, so that makes sense. Now we'll get to the actual exception part, which is a bunch of higher level upgrades, in some cases for hyper thread, which that's apparently just missing the P there. Um, didn't realize until now. So we've got tier four, which if we do 
this was given an extra it needed. Move this in, and this will give us seven slots. Okay, so we can do seven at once, which is quite useful. I'm not expecting it to do too much, because we obviously don't have the other benefits installed on this one. But doing seven at once is uh, quite beneficial. And we'll get to obviously the rest of these and see what else they can do. So there's going to be higher up tier upgrades, I assume, of the existing ones. And then we'll just do its thing, we'll finish up. We can go here, we've got 16, 24, 32, and 40. So, quite a jump from the regular 8. So we go to here, we've got grade 4 of that. All the way up to grade 8, wow, well, okay, that's a massive tier jump. Um, just got grade 4. Eight. Yeah, you kind of get the idea of fuel efficiency. Actually, put this in a blast furnace, I think. Just do that. And this not some cobble. Just can't do that. We need actual ores. Um, then I need what was it again? Um. I'm trying to think, uh, what was it? Hyperthread, uh, speed one. Alright, um, that's the upgrade one. Sorry, the grade eight. I actually got one technically, don't I? So go that and this. We put this in here. It should be a noticeable difference. So we can see how much that does um, over time, and then we'll go to obviously the highest tier of each one of these. So we can see that's grade eight. See if this can actually do obsidian. Probably still not. Yes. Do that. Let's get that out. Nope, still not. It's not that it's like a it uses less durability, maybe, per one. Nope, it still uses typical durability. Interesting, okay. Not sure. Um and then we've got the chip riser, which has tier 3, which we already know what tier 4 does. We'll take this out. Take that out. Put something else in. Okay, I have to take those out then. Yes, it is. Oh, I should have to take those out, do you? Alright. Is it? Uh, okay, that's struggling apparently. Interesting. So that's an interesting thing. You can't take that one out. Okay, I can't do that, but how's that done? 26. Obviously, you can probably get a bit better than that. But anyway, put 56 there. I'm just going to try some new furnace. That way, you can properly showcase it. And you've got eight options there. So you can put probably each upgrade that's capable for a furnace easily by that point. Um. I don't know if the efficiency part really means anything there between those, but either way. Um, also, you can use some of these on a chest and trap chest. Just do that straight away. What does that actually do? It just says 100% efficiency versus the, I assume, chip ones, which is typical. Hmm. Obviously, in that whichever upgrades you saw in that apply to what, you can tell that that'll be beneficial, but in the end, yeah, I don't know, that's just that. So if you want to expand upon using vanilla blocks without adding any new machines, like a powered furnace, your crusher, etc., and you want to enhance your existing ones, that can already do your typical furnace, blast furnace, smoker, expand upon what the dispenser can do, I guess, and more. I don't know if I got the mining one right, and if dispensers can technically already use wooden picks, or droppers maybe using wooden picks, or dropping things further maybe, which you can test. But, uh, yeah. Well, that would be my guess of the things you can do. Um, but yeah, so let's try something like drill instruction. This. And yeah, we'll just throw bunch of stuff in here, we'll get a level. We'll see if this like increases the distance or something. So don't think so. Either way. I'm not too sure on that one, but uh 
Hopefully the creator watches, they can inform me on what things I'm missing. Uh, and possibly fix some things. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.